Lingnan culture, or Cantonese culture, refers to the regional Chinese culture of the southern Chinese, Lingnan twin provinces of Guangdong and Guangxi. Strictly speaking, the term, Lingnan culture, has two definitions. In a purely geographical sense, the term includes not only Cantonese culture, but also the cultures of minority groups such as the Hakas, Teochus and the non-Han Zhuangs within the Lingnan region. More typically, is only used in referring to Cantonese culture, the historically dominant cultural linguistic force in Guangdong and Guangxi. This article uses the second definition of Lingnan culture as the synonym of Cantonese culture. With the migration of the Cantonese people to the neighboring Hong Kong and Macau, as well as in many overseas communities, Lingnan Cantonese culture has become an influential cultural force in the international community, and forms the basis of the cultures of Hong Kong and Macau. Brief history and overview From Nanyue to Sinicization in 200 BCE, Guangdong and Guangxi Cantonese for Guangdong and Guangxi, alongside the land now known as Northern Vietnam, was controlled by the Kingdom of Nanyue, Nan Yu Guo Nam 4 Jyut 6 Guoc 3, inhabited primarily by the non Han Nanyue people. The kingdom was later conquered by the Han Empire and came under Han Chinese control at around year 100 BCE. However, large-scale sinicization didn't occur until 6th to 7th century, at which point the region was held by the Tang Empire. Later, between 10th to 13th century, there was a large influx of Han Chinese migrants from the north, which was at that time invaded by the Mongols and a few other non-Han ethnic groups. These resulted in large-scale intermixing of Han Chinese and Nanyue people during that period, reflected in the fact that modern Cantonese people are, genetically, the hybrid descendants of ancient Han Chinese and Nanyue. Modern Lingnan culture also contains both Nanyue and Han Chinese elements. The modern Cantonese language, for instance, closely resembles Middle Chinese, the prestige language of the Tang Empire, but has retained some features of the long-extinct Nanyue language. The sinicization of the Lingnan region was largely complete by the time of late Southern Song Dynasty 12th to 13th century. During 15th to 18th century, Lingnan, especially the area around Guangzhou, served as one of the main ports for the Ming Empire. Cantonese people were exposed to Western European cultures and incorporated European elements into their own cultural artifacts. It was by that time when Lingnan culture has largely attained its current form. From 19th century onward. With Guangzhou being major a port for both the Qing dynasty and the People's Republic of China, Cantonese people have often dominated Han Chinese immigration to the Western world, resulting in Cantonese historically being the lingua franca in most Western Chinatowns. They also helped establish the Chinese term for Chinatown, Tong Yin Gai, Tang Ren Jia Tong 4 January 4 Gai 1, pronounced as Tang Ren Jia, in Mandarin. This term literally means, Street of the Tang People. This is said to reflect the fact that the sinicization of Lingnan was most prominent during the Tang dynasty, which resulted in the Cantonese people having an especially strong affinity to that dynasty. On the other hand, since early 20th century, Hong Kong, pronounced as Hung Gong in Cantonese, then under British colonial control, developed quickly in every aspect. The city's high level of development drew the envy of many people in the Lingnan region. Many of them has been watching the TV dramas and movies produced by Hong Kong, resulting in the city having significant cultural influence in the region. For instance, many Cantonese from mainland China write using traditional Chinese characters, like the Hong Kongers do. Hong Kong, for its part, has experienced much cultural and economic exchanges with other East Asian nations. This in turn, made Hong Kong absorb the cultures of Korea, Japan and to some extent, Taiwan. For instance, Hong Kong Cantonese has many usages and vocabularies borrowed from Japanese. Overall characteristics Lingnan culture is considered to be a commercial, oceanic culture that embodies the history of the region. Its foundation consists of a mix of Nanyue and Han Chinese, especially Tang Dynasty's and Song Dynasty. 
S. Influences, having preserved a considerable amount of Tang Song cultural heritages not preserved in other branches of modern Han Chinese cultures. Lingnan later became the Ming Empire's main contact point with Western Europeans via commerce, and thus came to include European ideas in its arts and philosophy. Traditional language Traditionally, the Lingnan region S sole dominant language is Cantonese. Guang Dong Wa Guang Zhou Wa Guang Tu Dung Wan Wa Tu Guang Tu Zhao Wan Wa Tu. The standard form and prestige dialect of the U subgroup U U J Y U T six J Y U five of the broader Chinese language family. The vast majority of Lingnan's traditional operas, folk songs, and poetry are all expressed in Cantonese. This language can trace its roots all the way back to the ancient Nanyue people, their language did not belong to the Chinese language family though. However, with the large influx of Han Chinese migrants between the 10th to 13th centuries during the Tang Song era, the language slowly sinicized and evolved into modern standard Cantonese. Cantonese has retained certain features of the Nanyue language. For instance, unlike most other Chinese languages, Cantonese often put an adjective behind the noun it is describing. In Cantonese, the word for hen, ji na gai one na two, is made up of two words, ji, meaning chicken, and na, meaning female, in a non-human sense, thus resulting in a compound word. Nonetheless, among all extant Chinese languages, Cantonese overall, is the one that is closest to Middle Chinese, the prestige language of the Tang era. This is reflected by the fact that most Tang poems will rhyme better if recited in Cantonese. Writing system In terms of writing system, Cantonese, like most people in East Asia, such as the Vietnamese for instance, traditionally preferred not to write their own language verbatim and instead relied on classical Chinese in most forms of writing. Starting from the 21st century however, a complete Cantonese writing system has been developed in Hong Kong and Macau that utilizes both Chinese characters and native characters, and become popularized. Architecture Classic Lingnan Architecture Lingnan architecture, Ling Nan Jian Zhu Ling 5 Nam, 4 Jin 3 Zuk 1, is the characteristic architectural style of the Lingnan region, mostly associated with Cantonese people. It differs significantly from those found in other Han Chinese regions because of factors such as climates and availability of materials, both of which affected by the geographical features of Lingnan. Overall, classical Lingnan architecture tends to 1. use pale colors such as green and white, 2. avoid circular or cylindrical structures, 3. have many open structures like balconies, 4. be decorated with large numbers of relief carvings and sculptures, and 5. be built using materials resistant to molds and moisture. The last point is obviously related to the hot and humid subtropical climate of Lingnan. The Chan Clan Temple in Guangzhou is a representative example of classical Lingnan architecture. The temple was built in late 19th century and served as an academy for Chan families in 72 counties of the Guangdong province. It comprises all sorts of folk architectural and decorative arts, and is famous for its three carvings, stone, wood and brick carvings, three sculptures, ceramic sculpture, clay sculpture and colorful sculpture, and one cast. Cast iron. As a result, it is called the best of all the clan buildings in the neighborhood. Tong Lao Tong Lao, Tang Lu Tong 4 Lao 4, is a style of architecture prevalent in Lingnan region, as well as in some other areas by the South China Sea, starting from 19th century. Combining southern Chinese architectural styles with western European ones, it is particularly prevalent in regions with more exposure to western European cultures, such as Guangzhou, Hong Kong and Macau. Tong Laos in Lingnan show influence from the classical Lingnan style. Lingnan Garden Lingnan Garden, Ling Nan Yuan Lin, Ling 5 Nam 5 Jiyun 4 Lam 4, or Cantonese Garden, is the style of garden design native to the Lingnan region. Geographically, Lingnan has very different climate from China's heartland, i.e., Zongyan, resulting in the development of a different style in garden designing. 
The most frequently cited traits of lingnan gardens are, 1. They tend to surround their plants and flowers with buildings for provided protection, due to the frequent rainstorms in the region. 2. Lingnan gardens usually use regionally native plant species, such as red cotton flowers, lotuses, orchids and lychee trees. And 3. Due to lingnan being far away from the center of political power, i.e., Zongyan, gardens in the region have historically been less stressed by royal standards, resulting in a style that leans more towards the common people, e.g., Lingnan gardens are decorated with a large amount of folk arts, ranging from sculptures to porcelains, and also tend to use smaller and simpler buildings. Visual arts The Nanyue people were already making a lot of pottery and sculptures back at the time of their kingdom. After Sinicization, the techniques of the people in the region only became even more polished and refined. Nowadays, Cantonese are accomplished craftspeople, known for creating and exporting many fine craft products, including various types of sculptures, embroidery, porcelain, paper cutting, kites, furniture, among many others. They have also produced several schools of fine arts. In some, visual art styles invented primarily by the Cantonese include the following. Canton Ivory Carving Canton Ivory Wood Carving, Guangzhou Yadiao Guang Tu Zhao 1 Ngaa 4 Diu 1, is another well known product from Lingnan. With a history of 2,000 years, it traditionally uses ivory as raw material to make sculptures, with the Canton style renowned for being particularly delicate and detailed without being brittle. The Cantonese people have also successfully produced the legendary craft product, Ivory Ball. After the 1980s, however, international ivory trade has been banned. This results in the Cantonese people now trying to find substitute materials, materials that look and feel like but are actually not ivory, in their attempt to pass on this ancient art. Canton Jade Carving Canton Jade Carving, Guangzhou Yudiao Guang Tu Zhao 1 Juk 6 Diu 1, is the Cantonese style of jade carving. It has a history of more than 2,000 years, with archaeologists unearthing jade carvings from the remains of the Kingdom of Nanyue. After Sinicization, the people of Lingnan learned jade carving from Tang Empire's jade wares, and invented the technique of Lao Sik Jiyutping, Lao Four Sik One, traditional Chinese, Lu Se literally, to retain the colors, retaining the colors of the original materials, resulting in jade carvings that are very colorful yet natural. Nowadays, Canton jade carvings are frequently used in Cantonese jewelry and decorations. Cantonese embroidery Cantonese embroidery, Jiyutping, JYUT6 Sao 3, traditional Chinese, Yu Shu is the Cantonese style of embroidery, with considerable popularity in Lingnan and its own subculture. It could trace its route to at least the 9th century, where the Tang Empire had documented that the people in the area were making embroidery. Cantonese embroidery attained its current form at around 15th century and has its own set of techniques. Visually, it is known for being colorful and containing multiple images without feeling chaotic. Due to Guangdong S. Historical role in trade between the Chinese Empire and the outside world, Cantonese embroidery had been sold to many Western European people and become a popular type of items in European aristocrats. Collections of Oriental Crafts Teochew Wood Carving Teochu wood carving, Jiyutping, Ciu 4 Zhao 1 Muk 6 Diu 1, traditional Chinese, Chao Zhou Mu Diao is a distinctive style of wood carving that originated from the city of Teochu, which is geographically a part of Lingnan but inhabited primarily by the Teochu people, who belong to the non Cantonese Min branch of Han Chinese. Despite this, this style of wood carving is heavily incorporated into various forms of Cantonese crafts. It began in the 11th century and became popularized in late 16th century. Many Teochu woodcarving products are plated with gold, commonly seen being decorations for Buddhist temples or ancestral halls. Lingnan Penjing Lingnan Penjing, Jiyutping, Ling 5 Nam 5 Pun 4 Jing 2, traditional Chinese, Lingnan Penjing is the style of penjing of the people of Lingnan. Despite being recognized only in early 20th century, it can trace its roots to at least 15th century. This style is noted for its emphasis on the match between the natural 
and the artificial parts of the penjing. For instance, artists of Lingnan penjing tend to spend much time choosing a pot that matches that plants. They also tend to trim their plants in such a way that the new growth from the trimmed parts will shadow the trails of trimming, resulting in the penjing looking very natural. Lingnan style of calligraphy Lingnan style of calligraphy, Jiyutping, Ling 5 Nam 5 Syu 1 Feng 1, traditional Chinese, Ling Nan Shu Feng is the style of calligraphy unique to Lingnan. It is typically described by Han Chinese critics as bold and romantic. Archaeological evidence suggests that the people of Lingnan had been writing and producing calligraphy works since the collapse of the Kingdom of Nanyue. However, due to the hot and humid climate of Lingnan, papers tend to decay very quickly, resulting in few such works having been preserved. It was not until 15th century, where Chan Bak Sa, Jiyutping, Kan 4 Baak Sik Sa 1, traditional Chinese, Shane Bai Sha became the first renowned Cantonese calligrapher that the Lingnan region got a recognized style of calligraphy. Since then, Cantonese artists have produced several notable works of calligraphy, such as Yuan Chong Huan Du Liao Jian Bai A Tu Shi literally, the picture poem of farewell to Yun Sung Wan. It is the work of Quang Lu, a Cantonese calligrapher from early 16th century. This work was made in his farewell to his good friend Yun Sung Wan, who had to leave Lingnan due to an assignment from the then Ming Emperor. It is a work of poem painting, a painting with a poem written on it, with both the picture and the poem having some sort of relations to each other. This work is now stored in Hong Kong. Nan Yuan Zhu Zi Song Li Mei Zhou Bei Shang Shi Wan literally. The picture of various southern gentlemen coming to say farewell. It is the work of Zheng Kyo, a Cantonese young woman from early 16th century, well known for being both beautiful and very talented. Despite this, she died of an illness at the young age of 19 and her death was widely mourned as a great loss. This work of poem painting is one of her few works and now on show at the Guangzhou Art Gallery. In the 21st century, the Cantonese people have begun to study the Lingnan style of calligraphy in greater depth. Canton Porcelain Canton Porcelain, Jiyutping, Guang Tu Coi Tu, traditional Chinese, Guang Kai literally, Cantonese colors, also called Cantonese porcelain, is the Cantonese style of porcelain. It involves painting various colors on white porcelains and cementing the colors on the porcelain products afterwards through the use of low heat less than 800 degrees Celsius, which is low by porcelain standard. This style is renowned for its bright colors and detailed drawings. It originated in 16th century. At that time, the Cantonese people in Guangzhou imported white porcelains from Jingzhen, a city well known for making white porcelains, worked on them to produce colorful porcelains, and exported their products to Western Europe. Later, this art spread to the entire Lingnan region. Hong Kong, for instance, started making Canton porcelain starting from 1930s and exported many of their products to the entire world, though nowadays, few Hong Kongese work on this style of porcelain outside hobbyists, due to the fact that the city has shifted its focus to service and finance industries. Gallery Cantonese Furniture Cantonese furniture, Jiyutping, Guang Tu Sik 1 Gaa 1 C 1, traditional Chinese, Guang Shi Jia Si is the Cantonese style of furniture. It can be dated at least back to 17th century. This style generally uses the native timbers in the Lingnan region, while borrowing elements from traditional furniture styles of the Tang Empire and the Song Empire and artistic styles imported from Western Europe. It is characterized by, one, its tendency to make each furniture item by working on one larger piece of wood, resulting in Cantonese furniture not showing traces of being assembled, two, taking elements from Baroque and Rococo style, especially in its use of curves, three, using techniques from other Lingnan crafts, such as Teochu woodcarving, and four, heavy use of shells and marbles as decorations. Nowadays, Cantonese furniture is being exported to many other Han Chinese communities and to foreign countries. Lingnan School of Painting Lingnan School of Painting, Jiyutping, Ling 5 Nam 5 Wa 2 Pa I 3, traditional Chinese, Lingnan Wa Pai also called Cantonese School of Painting, is a distinctive style of painting invented primarily by Cantonese artists. 
It originated in 19th century, founded by Go Jim Fu a Cantonese, and several of his associates. This style combined the ink wash painting shared by all Han Chinese and watercolor painting, also with the influence from Impressionism. It emphasizes leaving blank spaces and the use of bright colors, in stark contrast to less colorful ink wash painting. For example, the flames of the eastern battlefield used watercolor to paint bright red colors in the background. This, alongside the blank spaces in the painting, gives potential alternative interpretations of the blank spaces, which could look like either smoke or clouds. Others Sequin ware and Cochin ware are types of pottery with Cantonese origins. The former is still being produced by Cantonese, while the latter is more associated with Taiwan these days. Performing arts Cantonese people are involved in several types of operas and performing arts, including tea picking opera and Han opera, with Cantonese opera being the most prominent one. They also have many types of traditional music. All of these are primarily sung and expressed using the Cantonese language. Folk songs The Cantonese language has a very rich collection of folk songs, many of which can be traced back to the ancient Nanyue people before Sinicization of the region. These folk songs are widely sung and broadcast in the Lingnan region even to this day. Broadly speaking, they can be divided into several categories. Saltwater songs Jiyutping, Hom 4 Seoi 2 Go 1, traditional Chinese, Xi'an Shui Ge which are popular around the Pearl River Delta, like this one. Rooster Selling Rhythms Jiyutping, Maai 6 Gai 1 Diu 6, traditional Chinese, Mai Ji Diao which are traditionally sung in rooster worshipping rituals and said to be related to the bird worshipping totems of Baiyui peoples, an example would be this. Karia songs. Jiyutping, Go 1 Tong 4 Go 1, traditional Chinese, Gao Tangge, which are often sung in weddings. North Canton folk songs. Jiyutping, Jyut 6 Back 1 Man 4 Go 1, traditional Chinese, Yu Bei Min Ge, popular in northern Guangdong. Cantonese rhymes. Jiyutping, Jyut 6 Diu 1, traditional Chinese, Yu Diao, which consists of various subtypes based on pitches and rhythms and include the Nam Yum tradition. An example of Cantonese rhythms is this the lyrics of Nam Hoi Chu, Jiyutping, Nam 4 Hoi 2 Ciu 4, traditional Chinese, Nan Hai Chao, literally, Tides of the Southern Seas. One of the best known Cantonese folk songs, regarded as the unofficial provincial song of Guangdong. In Jiyutping and traditional Chinese characters, respectively. Hung 4 Hua 4 Moon 5 Sa 2 Jyut 6 Tin 1 Dong 1 Po 3 Hiu 2 Zing 1 Zing 1 Jot 6 Seng 5 Zeoi 6 Wa 4 Zoing 1 Hung 4 Minutes 4 Z 2 Jing 1 Jau 6 Tim 1 Sin 1 Baak 3 Do 3 Jan 1 of January 1 Mon 6 Sai 3 Zoeing 6. Go 5 Jin 3 Gong 1 Ciu 4 G 1 Jin 4 Taoi 1 Hei 2 Na 5 San 1 Bon 2. Coke 3 C 6 Cyan 1 Gw 3 Juk 6 Jyu 5 King 4 Lao 4 San 1 Leng 3 Jing 2. Go 5 Yu 3 Hoi 2 Ciu 4 Bo 1 Tou 4 Bat 1 Ju 3 Z 5 Hung 1 Young 2 Gok 3 Zyu 6 Jot 1 Pin 3 Mon 6 Lei 5 Daai 6 Joang 4 Gui 1 Sam 1 Cit 3 Hong Sha Man Sa Utn Dong Po Shao Jung Jung Ri Shang Shu Wa Zhong Hong Mian Zi Jing Utn Qian Bai Duo Xin Xin Wan Shi Shang Wo Jian Zhang Chao Yi Ran Tui Qi Na Shan Ban K Shi Chuan Guo Yu Yu Chong Lu Xin Jing Jing Wo Zhao Hai Chao Bo Dao Bu Yao J Shang Yang Zhe Zu Yi Pian Wan Li Da Yang Gui Xin Ki English Translation Red clouds are overtaking the sky of Canton at daybreak. The rising sun preludes an elegant prose. 
the red cotton trees symbolizing Guangzhou, and Hong Kong orchid trees symbolizing Hong Kong adds hundreds and thousands of blooms again. What a prosperous picture to last forever. I see river tides still pushing that sampan. But it rafts through a refreshing scene of edifices of jade. I tell the ocean not to be so turbulent. Across from thousands of miles of ocean I am homesick. Cantonese Opera Cantonese Opera, Jiyutping, Daai 6 Hei 3, traditional Chinese, Dashi literally, Great Drama, is the style of opera associated with the Cantonese language and has been listed as one of intangible cultural heritage of the world. Originated in late 13th century, Cantonese opera is a stage art that combines acrobatics, singing, martial arts, and acting. While sharing features with other Chinese language opera styles, it does have several particular traits, including Qing Sik Sing, Jiyutping, Seeing Four Sik, One Sing Three, traditional Chinese, Sheng Shi Sheng, formulaic, formalized. Wei Yi Sing. Jiyutping, Heoi 1 G5 Sing 3, traditional Chinese, Shuni Xing abstraction of reality, distancing from reality. Sin Ming Sing. Jiyutping, Sin 1 Ming 4 Sing 3, traditional Chinese, Xian Ming Xing clear cut, distinct, unambiguous, well defined. Zung Hap Gai Sut Ying Sik. Jiyutping, Zung 3 Hap 6 Gai 6 Seot 6 Jing 4 Sik 1, traditional Chinese, Zong Hei Yi Shu Xing Shi a composite or synthetic art form. Sei Gung Ing Faat. Jiyutping, Sei 3 Gung 1 Nanogram 5 Faat 3, traditional Chinese, Si Gong Wu Fa the four skills and the five methods, Cantonese opera also uses a different set of musical instruments. Some of these are used also in other Oriental opera styles, such as Gu Zheng, Jiyutping, Gu Tu Zhang 1, traditional Chinese. Gu, due to influence from Western opera, Cantonese opera has also started adopting European instruments starting from 19th century, such as violin. Cantonese opera is also noted for its use of makeup and headdresses on the actors' parts. Makeups in Cantonese opera are primarily white, and could vary in colors depending on the personalities of the characters, e.g., totally white makeups are often used to represent a villain. Headdresses are also used to represent the characters. Gongu Gongu, Jiyutping, Gong Tu Gu Tu, traditional Chinese, Zhanggu literally, to talk about the past, is a popular folk art in Lingnan. It involves artists telling stories from Chinese classics or Cantonese folklore using the Cantonese language, while borrowing techniques from Cantonese opera in order to be very rhythmic at that. This art form originated in 16th century, when Cantonese imported it from Jiangsu and several Cantonese artists learned from the then famous Wuyue storytellers. Since that time, Cantonese gongu has seen steady development, with storytellers performing in their own stalls or Cantonese teahouses. Starting from 20th century, the area around Guangzhou has even started erecting storytelling stages. Jiyutping, Syut 3 Syu 1 Toy 4, traditional Chinese, Shuo Shu Tai literally, stages where one talks about books, in certain parks and inviting artists to do gongu on radio shows. Partly as a result of this, Cantonese people have accumulated a considerable amount of folktales. Guangdong Music, Guangdong Music, Jiyutping, Guang Tu Dong 1 Jam 1 OK 6, Traditional Chinese, Guangdong Yinla is a style of traditional Chinese instrumental music from Guangzhou and nearby areas, though nowadays it is found also in much of China. Guangdong music compositions are primarily based on tunes derived from Cantonese opera and Cantonese folk songs, especially before the 1920s. Stylistically, it is said to be marked by being loud, lively, and upbeat. Some pieces have seen influences from Western music, jazz in particular, they use syncopation and triple time, and incorporate instruments such as saxophone and violin. Musical instruments The set of musical instruments used in Cantonese opera styles and music has much overlapping with those used by other Han Chinese groups. There are, however, instruments distinctly Cantonese, with the Gaohu being the most representative. 
Aside from this, Chinchin, Qian Kum, and Erxian, Yi Yun, are other musical instruments associated with Cantonese music. Pop Canto Pop, also called HK Pop, Jiyutping, JYUT6, JYU5 Lao, 4 Hang 4 Kuk 1, traditional Chinese, Yu Yu Lu Xing Ku is a genre of Cantonese music made primarily in Hong Kong. It is a pop subgenre, with influences from jazz, rock and roll, R&B, electronic music, dance music and others. It is almost invariably sung in Cantonese, boasting an international fanbase across Guangdong, Guangxi, Southeast Asia and, to a lesser extent, Korea and Japan. Cinema Hong Kong Cinema, Jiyutping, Gong Tu Kan Tu Pin 3, traditional Chinese, Gang Chan Pian is the cinema of Hong Kong. For a long time, it had been one of the largest movie industries in the world and still has influence to this day. Being produced by Hong Kong, these movies have been primarily expressed using Cantonese, although films from certain period were in Mandarin due to geopolitical reasons. Their genres may vary, although comedy and martial arts movies are particularly prominent. This style of cinema has a cult following even in the West. Literature poetry The Cantonese language, with its 1,000-year-long history, has a rich heritage of poetry and literature. The people of the Lingnan region have been composing poems since the 7th century. Zheng Gao Ling, Jiyutping, Zhoing 1 Gao 2 Ling 4, traditional Chinese, Zhang Zhu Ling one of the most prolific poets of the Tang Empire, was born and raised in what is now Sayaguan, Guangdong. He was said to be very intelligent since he was a child, and later became the empire's minister. Twelve of his poems were listed as the 300 best poems from the Tang Empire. Since then, the Lingnan region has produced a steady stream of poets of varying levels of prominence. They were even given a label called Lingnan School of Poetry, Jiyutping, Ling 5 Nam 4 C 1 Pa I 3, traditional Chinese, Ling Nan Shi Pai renowned for preserving pronunciations from the Middle Chinese language and composing poems with imagery unique to Lingnan. Like most regions in the Sinosphere, most of Lingnan's medieval literature was composed in classical Chinese, grammatically, rather than the people's spoken language. However, poets in the region have started composing poems using grammatically vernacular Cantonese since the 19th century, with the work of Cantonese poet Lu Yan Tou, Jiyutping, Lu the 6th of January 1 Tou 4, traditional Chinese, Liao N Dao being the most prominent. Many of his works require Cantonese characters, characters specifically invented to write Cantonese, to write down. This particular style of poetry has accumulated a large number of work. Starting from early 21st century, Cantonese people have started compiling works of past Cantonese poets in a literature called All Cantonese Poems. Jiyutping, Cyan 4 Jyut 6 C1, traditional Chinese, Quan Yu Shi, which has spanned 30 volumes and yet to be finished. Vernacular Cantonese Literature like the rest of East Asia, including Vietnam, Korea and Japan, Lingnan traditionally used classical Chinese for writing, rather than the people's spoken languages. Despite the attempt to create vernacular forms of writing in late 19th century, the Greater China area still tend to use standard written Chinese, a writing system based on Mandarin, not Cantonese, i.e., the native language of the Lingnan region, in writing. Even in the cosmopolitan Hong Kong, the vast majority of the people's works of literature have been written in standard written Chinese. However, starting from 21st century, Hong Kong, as a cultural center in the region, has developed a complete writing system for Cantonese. Some writers in the city now advocate composing literature in written Cantonese. Food culture the Lingnan region has a special geographical environment different from those of other Han Chinese regions. With its subtropical temperature and high humidity, it has a tendency to have good harvests whether in farming or fishing. As a result, cuisine in Lingnan could use many different food materials. The book, New Comments on Guangdong, Guangdong Xin Yu, written by Wat Dai Gwan, said Tian Sha Suo Yu Shi Huo Yu Dong Ji Jin Yu Ji Yu Dong Suo Yu Ji Shi Huo Tian Sha Wei Bai Jin Yi Classical Chinese, every ingredient that the world has, Guangdong has it, every ingredient that Guangdong has, the rest of the world may not have it. Today, the cuisine of the Lingnan region has fully developed into a distinct school of cuisine on its own. 
Cantonese cuisine Cantonese cuisine, Jiyutbing, JYUT6COI3, traditional Chinese, Yukai is the cuisine corresponding to Cantonese culture. Guangzhou, the cultural capital of the region, has long been a trading hub. This resulted in many imported ingredients are used in Cantonese cuisine. Besides pork, beef and chicken, Cantonese cuisine uses nearly every edible meat, including offal, chicken feet, duck's tongue, snakes, and snails. However, lamb and goat are rare. There is also a heavy use of seafood, due to proximity to the sea. This style of cuisine uses many cooking methods, with steaming and stir-frying being the most popular, largely due to relative convenience. Traditionally, Cantonese cooks prefer their dishes to have well-balanced flavor and not be greasy. Spices are used in modest amounts at best to preserve the flavors of the primary ingredients, which in turn are expected to be at the peak of their freshness and quality. Cantonese cooking tends not to use fresh herbs, contrary to Sichuan, European, Thai and Vietnamese cuisines, with garlic chives and coriander leaves being the notable exceptions. Lastly, due to the hot and humid weather of Lingnan and the traditional beliefs that soups can remove hotness, Jiyutping, seeing 1JIT 6HA3, traditional Chinese, Qingrichi Cantonese cuisine tends to have liberal use of soups. Lu Fotong Lu Fo Tong, Jiyutping, Lu Fai Fo Tu Tong 1, traditional Chinese, Lao Huo Tang literally, Old Fire Soup, is a cuisine among common people in Lingnan. It refers to a set of clear broth made by simmering meat and other ingredients over a low heat for several hours. These ingredients may include meats, vegetables, seafood, fruits, and medicinal herbs. It originated in late 17th century to early 18th century. At that time, Guangdong had difficulty extracting coals, which resulted in Cantonese people having to rely on firewood for fuels. This caused them to avoid using large fire, which cooking techniques such as stir-frying require, and instead use low heat to simmer their foods, resulting in lu fotong. Nowadays, lu fotong has been a fully developed style of soups and become an integral part of Cantonese cuisine. Dishes in Cantonese cuisine Tea culture Yum cha, Jiyutping, Jam 2 Caa 4, traditional Chinese, Yin cha literally, to drink tea, is a subculture within Cantonese food culture. While it can be found in some other Han Chinese groups, it is far more prevalent among Cantonese people, and also overseas Chinese, historically most of whom have been of Cantonese ancestry. It has a specific set of terminologies among Cantonese. For instance, to invite someone to go yum cha is basically a way of expressing friendship. Traditionally, Cantonese could go yum cha whether in the morning, afternoon, or evening. Morning tea is typically dominated by the elderly, although many younger people often accompany their grandparents for morning tea as a way of showing respect and affection. Cantonese tea houses also have a set of food specifically designed for morning tea. Afternoon tea is similar in most aspects, except it is more common for entire families to go yum cha at this hour. Evening tea tends to attract large gatherings, and the foods ordered in such hours also tend to be more sophisticated. Regardless of hours, yum cha starts with the diners ordering a specific set of teas they would like to drink. After that, the waiters would bring the teas, which the diners will be drinking while enjoying the foods and engaging in all sorts of social interactions. Even after they have finished the foods, the diners still tend to stay for half an hour or so chatting. Dim sum Dim sum, Jiyutping, Dim Tu Sam 1, traditional Chinese, Dian Shin literally, to touch the heart, is a characteristic of Cantonese cuisine, usually but not only eaten during yum cha. They are a set of small bite-sized portions of food served in small steam baskets or on small plates. In Cantonese tea houses, carts with dim sum will be moving around the restaurant for the diners to order from without having to leave their seats. In Cantonese traditions, the diners will often order dim sum at will while chatting and enjoying the endless serving of teas. In major cities in Lingnan, such as Guangzhou and Hong Kong, culinary schools usually offer courses specifically to train the preparation of dim sum. Liang Cha 
Liang Cha, Jiyutping, Liang 4 CAA 4, traditional Chinese, Liang Cha literally, cooled tea, is a kind of infusion made from traditional medicinal herbs. In traditional Chinese medicine, Liang Cha is considered to have a cooling effect on the body. In major cities such as Guangzhou and Hong Kong, cool tea shops specialized in selling herb teas are common sites. Due to the efforts of the governments of Guangdong, Hong Kong, and Macau, since 2006 methods to make Liang Cha have been considered an intangible cultural heritage practice for China. Tong Sui Tong Sui, Jiyutping, Tong 4 Seoi 2, traditional Chinese, Tang Shui literally, sugar water, is a characteristic dessert of Cantonese cuisine. It is a set of sweet, warm soups or custards served as dessert at the end of a meal in Cantonese traditions. It is also common for Cantonese people to leave home to get some Tong Sui with a group of friends or family late in the evening, an activity they call Su Ye. Jiyutping, Su Wan Zhe 6, traditional Chinese, Xiao Yi literally to kill the night. Choices of types of Tong Sui vary depending on the season. Hot black sesame soup, for instance, tends to be favored in winter. Brewery Lingnan is also known for producing some notable liquors, mostly of the rice wine variety. The brewery culture of Lingnan can be traced all the way back to the kingdom of Nanyue, who apparently possessed containers of liquors. In late 11th century, Su Sik Jiyutping, Su Wan Sik Wan, traditional Chinese, Su Shi one of the prominent poets and then minister of the Song Empire, got demoted and reassigned to Lingnan. Also well known for his love for cuisine, Su Sik wrote a book on brewery not long after his reassignment to Lingnan, called Su Sik's Words on Liquors. Jiyutping, Dung Wan Bo Wan Zhao Tu Jing Wan, traditional Chinese, Dong Po Ju Jing which became Lingnan's first book on brewery. Nowadays, rice wines produced in Lingnan are sold across China and other Asian countries, with Yuk Bing Su, Jiyutping, Juk Six Bing Wan Su Wan, traditional Chinese, Yu Bing Shao literally, Jade, Ice, and Burn, one of the Ten Great Liquors of Guangdong, being particularly renowned. Fruits The Four Great Fruits of Lingnan Jiyutping, Ling 5 Nam, 4 Se, 3 Daai 6 Ming 4 Gwo 2, traditional Chinese, Ling Nan Si Da Ming Guo are four fruits locally produced in Lingnan and frequently used in Cantonese cuisine and desserts. They are lychee, banana, pineapple and papaya. Gallery Martial Arts Cantonese people also have their own schools of Kung Fu. Originally disorganized, the fighting techniques of Cantonese people were grouped into different schools between 18th to 19th century. At that time, due to ineptitude of the Qing Empire's government, pirates and bandits were rampant in the empire's fringe regions such as Lingnan. This resulted in Cantonese starting to want to protect themselves, and thus the proliferation of martial arts learning. It was when the Cantonese people organized their fighting techniques into schools, forming the martial arts schools seen among Cantonese today. Martial arts folk heroes from that period, such as Wang Fei Hung, are now popular topics of Cantonese films. Overall, Cantonese martial arts are known for emphasis on striking in various different ways using punches while remaining a steady lower body posture. They often shout battle cries, for the purpose of unnerving the opponents, rarely jump, kick or do any elaborated large movements, a very pragmatic style focused on striking. Kung Fu schools invented and primarily practiced by Cantonese people include, but are not limited to. Guangdong schools Hung Ga Choi Gar Mok Gar Wing Chun Choi Li Foot Chao Gar Philosophy Lingnan also has her own schools of Confucianism. Since 12th century, there have been a steady stream of Cantonese Neo-Confucian thinkers, resulting in several schools of thoughts. Lingnan Scholarly School 
Lingnan Scholarly School, Jiyutping, Ling 5 Nam 4 Hok 6 Pa I 3, Traditional Chinese, Ling Nan Ze Pai is the most prominent of schools of Neo-Confucian thoughts in Lingnan. It was started by a group of Cantonese Confucian scholars in 15th century, led by Chan Bak Sa. Chan's writings have now been compiled in a document titled, Chan Bak Sa. S. Collection, Jiyutping, Can 4 Hin 3 Zoing 1 Zop 6, Traditional Chinese. Shane Xian Zhang. In this series of writings, Chan expressed his opinions of Confucius's thoughts and reinterpreted them through the lens of Mahayana Buddhism and Taoism. His style of thoughts has a strong theme of humanism and individualism. It also appeared to have been influenced by Western style of thoughts in its belief in more rational ways of thinking than older Confucian thoughts. Traditional celebrations Cantonese people also have a distinct set of traditional celebrations. Many of these celebrations are shared by other Han Chinese groups and even other East Asians. The Ghost Festival, for instance, is observed by Japanese and many Southeast Asians as well. However, Cantonese often have their own unique customs. For instance, New Year flower fairs are seen only among Cantonese and certain overseas Chinese communities of Cantonese ancestry. The Lingnan region also has certain celebrations unique to her. Cantonese New Year customs New Year flower market Cantonese lion dance Nin Lai Han Chinese celebrations Lunar New Year First Full Moon Festival, also observed by Japanese, Koreans and Vietnamese Buddha's Birthday Qingming Festival Dragon Boat Festival Birthday of Guanyin Ghost Festival, also observed by Japanese, Koreans and Vietnamese. Mid-Autumn Festival, also observed by Vietnamese. Double Ninth Festival. Cantonese-specific celebrations. Guangdong Festival of Joy, Jiyutping, Guang Tu Dung One Fun One Lok Six Zit Three, Traditional Chinese. Guangdong Huan La Jie Cantonese Temple Fair, Jiyutping, Guang Tu Fu Tu Mu Tu Wui 6, Traditional Chinese. Guang Fu Miao Wei Futsun Autumn, Jiyutping, Fat Tu San 1 Kao 166, Traditional Chinese. Fu Shan Chu Se Self Selling Festival, Jiyutping, Maai 6 San 1 Zit 3, Traditional Chinese. Mai Shen Jie Canton Lotus Festival, Jiyutping, Zhoeng 4 Sing 5 Ho 4 Faa 1 Zit 3, Traditional Chinese Yang Sheng He Hua Jie Kite Festival, Jiyutping, Feng 1 Zhang 1 Zit 3, Traditional Chinese Feng Zheng Jie Flying Colors Parade, Jiyutping, Pu 1 Sik 1 Ceo N 4 Jau 4, Traditional Chinese Piao Seishuan, Birthdays of Local Deities Birthday of Hung Xing Birthday of Mazu Birthday of Yunmo Birthday of Tam Kung Birthday of Lady Sin Religions Traditionally, the Lingnan region is dominated by two religions, Mahayana Buddhism and Taoism. Mahayana Buddhism Compared to worshipping Confucius, Cantonese are traditionally more inclined towards worshipping Buddha or Bodhisattva. In particular, they are inclined towards the Mahayana branch of Buddhism, which is shared by most Han Chinese groups. Mahayana Buddhist temples are a common site in Lingnan, and Buddhist celebrations such as Buddha's birthday and the birthday of Guanyin are, traditionally, large events in the region. The Wan Moon sect of Mahayana Buddhism originated in Lingnan and once spread across much of China during the Northern Song Dynasty, 10th to 12th century. Taoism All Han Chinese groups traditionally adhere to some forms of Taoism, and Cantonese are no exception. Cantonese have a distinct set of Taoist deities. 
Cantonese are, traditionally, worshippers of Wang Tai Sin, a Taoist god of healing. They are also strongly inclined to worship sea deities such as Hung Xing and Mazu, reflecting the Cantonese tradition of doing trades overseas. Culture of distance from Confucius It has been noted that Cantonese culture is traditionally marked by a culture of distance from Confucius. Jiyutping, Jiyun 5 Jyu 4 Man 4 Fa 3, traditional Chinese, Yuan Ru Wen Hua literally, culture of distance from Confucius, which may be related to Lingnan historically being a fringe region of the Chinese Empire and influence from Tang Dynasty, who placed greater emphasis on Buddhism than Confucianism, while Confucian philosophy still has its influence on Cantonese culture, Confucius temples are much harder to find in Lingnan than Buddhist or Taoist ones. Others Cantonese have a long tradition of doing commerce with the outside world, including with Western Europeans starting from 15th century, which resulted in Christianity, mostly the Roman Catholic and Protestant variants, gaining foothold in the region. Earlier than that, Cantonese also did trade with Arabs and Persians, thus the presence of Islam in Lingnan. Commercial tradition Cantonese merchants Jiyutping, Jyut6 Seng1, traditional Chinese, Yushang are merchants of Cantonese origins. In the past 2000s years, Lingnan, especially the area around Guangzhou, has spent much of the time being the Chinese Empire. S main port, resulting in a strong commercial tradition, formation of renowned Cantonese trade organizations such as the Canton Factories, and even Cantonese developing their own business culture. Cantonese merchants are known for being pragmatic, preference for actual profits over fame, and avoidance of political matters and display of wealth. Nowadays, Cantonese people still inherit this commercial culture. Major Lingnan cities such as Guangzhou, Futsun, Shenzhen, and Hong Kong are regional, if not international, commercial centers. Hong Kong, for instance, scored 748 in 2016's Global Financial Centers Index, ranking fourth in the world and just below London and New York City. Cultural symbols Red cotton flower Red cotton flower, Jiyutping, Muk 6 minutes 4 FAA 1, traditional Chinese, Miu Mian Hua literally, wood cotton flower, is a species of flower common in Lingnan, and considered to symbolize Cantonese culture. It was said that in 200 BCE, Ziyu 2, Jiyutping, Ziyu 6 to 4, traditional Chinese, Zhao Tuo, the king of the Nanyue kingdom, once gave a red cotton tree to the Han Empire to express respect, meaning that at that time, the people of Lingnan already used red cotton flowers to represent their homeland. Nowadays, red cotton flower frequently appears in the poems and songs composed by Cantonese people. The folk song Nam Hoi Chu, for instance, mentioned Hong Mian. Traditional Chinese for red cotton flower to represent Cantonese people and culture. Red cotton flower is currently the official symbol of Guangzhou, the cultural center of Lingnan, and also of Guangdong and Guangxi as a whole. Macau Lotus The lotus is the symbol of Macau. It appears on the flag of Macau after the 1999 handover. Hong Kong Orchid The Hong Kong Orchid is arguably the symbol of Hong Kong. It was discovered in 1880, and identified as a new species in 1908. It became Hong Kong's official symbol in 1965 and appears on the flag of Hong Kong after the 1997 handover. Since Hong Kong produced a large number of films, pop songs and soap operas to promote Cantonese culture, Hong Kong, and by extension the Hong Kong Orchid, is widely held to be the symbol of modern Cantonese culture. Nam Hoi Chu, for instance, also mentioned. Zi Jing, traditional Chinese for Hong Kong Orchid, to symbolize Cantonese people. The Golden Bohemia Square has a giant statue of the Hong Kong Orchid and is one of the major landmarks of Hong Kong. Sampan 
sampan is a type of flat bottom boat frequently seen in the shores of South China Sea, used by Cantonese, Hoklo, Vietnamese, and many other Southeast Asian ethnic groups. They are usually 3 to 4 meters in length and have small shelters on broad. This makes it possible for fishermen to live on their own sampans. In the major Cantonese cities of Guangzhou, Hong Kong and Macau, it is a common sight to see crowds of sampans docked at their harbors. Thus, the image of sampan-filled harbor is strongly associated with Lingnan. Sampans also regularly show up in films and music videos made by Cantonese. See also Index of Cantonese-related articles The Legend of Five Goats, a legend about how Guangzhou, the cultural capital of Cantonese, originated. Cantonese folktales Eight sites of Guangzhou Cantonese Wikipedia CCTV Nane Studio Cantonese Customs Cantonese Wedding Cantonese Pre-Wedding Customs Villain Hitting Bone Collecting Related Cultures Chinese culture Lingnan culture Culture of Hong Kong Culture of Macau Taishanese culture Hakka culture Teochew culture Hokkien culture Culture of Yangshi Culture of Hunan Bashu culture Zhuang culture Vietnamese culture Culture of Singapore Malaysian Chinese culture Others Lingnan Liangguang Lungguang In Cantonese, the collective term for Guangdong and Guangsai Lingnan University Baiyui Nanyue Stone Dogs in the Lajo Peninsula References <references>